Have you ever wondered what happens to a house after it becomes vacant and bank owned and just sits with nobody living inside of it for years on end? My name is Jeremy Redding. I'm a freelance insurance adjuster. Oftentimes I get claims to go out and inspect and these are bank owned properties. They are covered under what's called a forced place policy. This is an insurance policy when there is no one else to pay for a homeowner's insurance policy and the bank needs to put a policy on the property nonetheless to protect their own asset. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like to enter into some of these properties after they've been sitting vacant for years and years and years. Now for me personally, when I go out to a house like this, oftentimes and not, there's pre-existing damage, there's long-term damage, but I need to go out there as a claims adjuster and get everything documented so that the insurance company has what they need to send to the policyholder and let them know that these things aren't covered. Now, because I'm a freelance insurance adjuster, I'm not a salaried employee, I'm an independent contractor and I'm going out there, I don't have any of the rights as a normal employee, but I do get paid a little bit more to actually handle this compared to the hourly rate that a actual salaried claims adjuster would earn. This gives me the opportunity to become very efficient with my work so that I can do several assignments like this in a single day, often making over $1,000 in a single day, and in catastrophe situations, situations where a hurricane might hit land, that $1,000 can easily become up to $5,000 and even more. Now, if any of this sounds interesting to you, go ahead and do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so that you always get an alert anytime we come out with super interesting videos just like this one. Now, without any further ado, let's check this out. What's up, everybody? Jeremy Reddick, the Claim Crusher. Want to show you what it looks like. I'm here in front of a house. This is actually a bank owned property. Uh, so you really know if you're a claims adjuster, you really don't know what you're walking into when you have a bank owned property. If this thing could have been sitting vacant for a very, very long time, or it could have just recently, uh, the bank recently came into possession of it and things are pretty much just how it was well taken care of. As you can see right behind me, there's a tarp on the roof. And one thing I noticed is that there's lots and lots of moss and algae. Um, I've already checked out the roof, it's covered up. And the reason why I wanna cut this video, I wanna actually show you the inside because it's, all, it's remarkable how bad this has gotten. So check it out, we're walking inside here. First things first, what you can't really see is the, the mold spores that are on the wall. I should be wearing a mask right now, but just so I can record this video for you, I won't. But I want to take you upstairs. Now, when I looked at the roof, the entire, the entire backside of the roof was covered up with a tarp. So we really didn't know what was going on, but I knew that it was probably pretty bad. So I went upstairs, went to the back of the house where I could imagine that there was some sort of leak going on. And this is the back bedroom right here. You can see the blue from the tarp coming through. And it looks like from a, for a very, very long time, water has been pouring through all of the lath ceiling has come down. But the craziest part about this is that rather than fixing the problem or at least stopping the problem from getting worse, they just put buckets down. Now, the catch here is not only did they put a bucket down, which, hey, you get a leak, you got to put a bu bucket down. They didn't even empty the buckets. This entire place here is filled with overflowing buckets and there's really just in the back corner there it's like a little it's probably, it looks like it's about four inches deep i'm on the second floor the second floor is flooded it's a few inches deep of just water down here and you could see all the damage that this that this has done now there's more of the same in all of the other rooms here now, as an adjuster this right here it's um, it's a bank owned property. They recently came into possession of it. The bank did. And so they put in a claim for all this damage to, you know, I could only imagine to try to get something from insurance so that they can put it towards the repairs. Now I'm downstairs here. Uh, this is in the back side of the house as the water is overflowing. And I'm going to take you right down below. Now this is the kitchen immediately below the room we were just in that back room. And as you can see here, we'll walk in, try not to get hit with any spider webs. This is what we're looking at here. So 
And as the water came through, here's another bucket. The bucket is actually expanding down. So water can overflow into these buckets down here. And from there, I don't really know what happened. So my job here is just to document everything. And I'm going to be writing up a report that just says that everything here is completely old. There's nothing that an insurance policy would cover. It'll probably take me about 10, 15, 10 minutes to write up a report like that. It might take me about 15 minutes to do all of my photos here. All together, all in, I'll have this buttoned up, my report, investigative report for this thing buttoned up in about 30 minutes. I'm not gonna get paid a lot for it, but I'll make a few hundred dollars off it. I think the minimum amount that I'll make off an assignment with this client of mine is uh, 260. So I'll make $260 to walk in, take a bunch of pictures of a house, write up a quick report, in and out. I'd say with drive time, it's about an hour's worth of commitment and I'll make about 260 on it. Not so bad. Hope you enjoyed that video. Once again, if you found it pretty interesting, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss out on videos like this. But if the idea of freelance insurance adjusting sounds a bit interesting to you, then go ahead and check the links down below this video because I have a free workshop that I put on for people just like you that might be a bit interested in what freelance insurance adjusting is all about and what it can do for you. So go ahead and check the links at the bottom of this video and sign up to to the next free workshop. There's no obligation involved. Check it out. Get a better understanding of what freelance insurance adjusting is. There's tons and tons of great opportunity, great money. It's an exciting career path. Check it out. Do yourself a favor. Look at the link down below this video and I'll see you on the next workshop.